Okay, okay, welcome back to another video, my brothers. I'm in the studio right now. It smells fucking amazing in here. I've got a diffuser over the cabinet over there, and whatever it's diffusing is pure magic. The studio looks fantastic. I've been spending the last week just getting everything set up. I'm waiting on two Chesterfield armchairs from Italy. They're going to take about three months to come in, but once they come in, you guys are going to love them. The podcast section will be finished. So what I want to talk about today are six things that are going to make you unstoppable in 2023. Make sure you watch this entire video. Don't be clicking off after a minute. Watch this entire video and better yet, leave a comment down below so I know you've seen it all. The first thing is not making any more excuses. Halas, enough is enough. You've got to get sick and tired of making excuses. Your excuses have kept you poor. Your excuses have kept you overweight. That's it. No more excuses. No excuse now is good enough. Start where you are with what you have. It's called being resourceful. Because a lot of guys will say things like, well, I can't start this business unless I have this, this, this. Bullshit. Yes, you can. As long as you have an idea or a product, you can sell it. Start selling it. Guys focus on fucking dumb shit. But I need to have a fantastic website before I can begin. No, you don't. You can sell some, something to someone in person. You can have a shitty website that you made on fucking Wix. And you can just enable it to start receiving payments for £25 or dollars a month. I don't know. You don't need a lot, man. Stop fucking making excuses. Oh, I'll start getting in shape after my wedding. I'll start doing this. Shut up, man. Just fucking start. No excuse is good enough now. And I'm saying this out of love. I used to be that guy. I used to make fucking excuses every day. I used to think really hard about excuses. I put more effort into making excuses than into fucking pursuing success. And it's not a surprise why I was fucking average for so long. I hated myself. I would make an excuse. And deep down inside, I know that was a lie. I know, I, I know it was just another fucking, I was just afraid, man. I was afraid. I was afraid of not being ready. But you'll never be ready. Life is chaotic. You'll never reach the stage where you're like, you know what, now's the time. No. Things will go wrong at the worst possible time. You just got to fucking start, man. You make it right. Okay? You make the time right. You don't wait for the right time. You make it right. Okay, so no more excuses. The second point is four hours of deep work every single day. I used to think, and this was the mistake that I believe I made, is I was really consumed with this whole hustle culture on Instagram and you know YouTube. I thought you had to grind 18 hours a day. And that sounds fucking amazing to say. Man, I work 18 hours a day. But in reality, you're fucking around for about 14 of those hours. You're not being productive. Not at all. You're fucking around. You're scrolling on your phone. You're just wasting time. Now, obviously, if you work a nine to five job, that's a different situation. We're saying, you know, working on something that you're passionate about, something maybe after work that you do, whether it's creating music or creating content, you don't really need to be working more than four hours. Just work productively. Okay. So what leads to results? Ask yourself that question in your field. What actually leads to results? And spend time on that. Anything else is just wasting fucking time. Now, look, I'm a big book reader as well. I love reading books. But I consider reading books or reading too many books, shall I say, a form of procrastination. If I'm reading four or five books a week, I know for a matter of fact that I'm not going to remember anything in those books a month later. Maybe one or two lines in each book, but that's about it. I try and not get myself into the habit of reading too many books in a short space of time because I feel like I'm wasting time that way. I'd rather read a book here and there, you know, read a certain chapter. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe write something down and then get back to work. Get back to doing things that actually lead to success. So, for example, YouTube here, creating content, it pays me. Yes, it's not a lot of money right now, but it pays. So I, that means I need to focus on creating as many videos as possible. If I sat here reading five books a day for the next 30 days, I wouldn't make any money. I'd know a lot of quotes and shit, and maybe that would help me with my videos, but it won't actually lead to success in of itself, okay? So four hours of deep work. That's it. F fuck the 20 hours a day. F fuck that shit. You're not going to be productive. 
And that actually leads me very nicely onto the third point, getting seven to eight hours of sleep every day. I used to be one of those guys, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I almost fucking killed myself. Nah, I'd be fucking up on two hours of sleep. I'd look fucking shit. You know, my friends would always tell me, Ali, you've got fucking dark eyes. Um, fucking shadows under your eyes and shit. I looked like a fucking panda. Because I would barely get any sleep. And I would convince myself, nah, man, you know, I've got a lot to work on, man. Hustle. I've got to hustle. I've got to do this. Bullshit. You know, I wasn't working productively. It felt great not being, you know, uh, not getting that many hours. When I say it felt great, I mean, in my mind, I would feel like, oh, shit, man. Yeah, I'm awake whilst everyone else is asleep. You know, I felt like I was being productive, but I wasn't. I was fucking tired. I was drifting off as I was driving. Imagine that. I'll be driving to a meeting and just like drifting off. And sometimes the car would veer to one side. Dangerous. Get your seven to eight hours of sleep every fucking day, gentlemen. Trust me on this one. The next point is nurturing the important relationships in your life. Listen, man, don't neglect the people that you really care about in the pursuit of success. Sometimes you're so busy working on improving yourself that you feel like you don't have the time to spend with your family or yes, you do or your friends, you do, you have the time. Remember what I said a minute ago? Four hours of productive work, you have the time, okay? You've got the time to spend an hour with a friend here and there. Your parents, you should spend time with the man, you know? And when you spend time with your parents, put your phone away, you know? Share a lot of stories together, laugh. Don't be on your phone scrolling through Instagram whilst your parents are speaking to you. You know, because they're getting older and one day they won't be here. So really cherish the time that you spend with them. When you're with your girl, put your phone away. And just have fun together. Watch a movie, you know, go and do a, a picnic somewhere, go on a road trip. Build memories, man, real memories. And you have the time. When you work, work. But when you play, play. But don't mix the two. Don't be with your girlfriend making calls, business. Nah, you can schedule that another time. Okay? But your relationships are important. You're a human being. Don't isolate yourself from everybody else. Don't be in a room for months on end without interacting with anybody. No, that's not good for you, man. We are social creatures. Even the 48 laws of power, uh, Robert Greene talks about uh, how isolation is dangerous. Don't isolate yourself. Okay? The next thing is developing a one more rep mindset. We always have more in us, but a lot of us stop at the level that we feel we can't exceed. But we actually can, you know? In the gym, if you ever go with a friend of yours to the gym, let's say normally you stop benching at five reps. You, just, you feel like you can't do a sixth. But for some reason, when you're with your boy, you manage to, to do number six. It's because he's there. And you feel like, you know what, man, fuck it. My boy, he's here, I'm motivated, I'm pumped right now, I could do one more. And obviously, if he's supporting you, that's great. He's telling you, come on, champ, let's go. But we always have one more in us. And this applies to many things, by the way, not just the gym. It applies to creating content, one more. Just create one more right now before you go to sleep. Do this, do that, one more. Okay, you're running, for example, and normally you stop running after four miles, so you feel like you can't run anymore, run five. It's steadily increasing right? The intensity, expanding your comfort zone. Now, one doesn't seem like a lot, but it compounds. One mile, one rep, one more video. You never know that one video could be the one to change everything for you, right? Running an extra mile may seem like a fucking lot right now, but within six months, you're going to laugh at yourself. Man, for so long, I was running four miles thinking I couldn't run anymore. Now I'm doing nine. You'll laugh at yourself. Okay. But that one more mindset will help you out. And then finally, number six is embracing failure. Now, I don't like, and this is how I would define failure, right? Failure is quitting in my books. Failure is quitting. It's just not continuing. But making mistakes, well, I say mistakes, it's not even a mistake. Learning experiences. That's what I would call failure. It's a learning experience. Oh, this thumbnail didn't really work out. I didn't get many clicks. I'll try another one. It's not a failure. People still watch the video. Right? So you gotta fail your way to success. Ah, this didn't work out, let me refine this. For example, even with me, 
when it comes to trading. I might take a setup that wasn't a good setup. I'll analyze it. Right, what, what went wrong here? Okay, let me tweak this. Without making mistakes, you can't improve. Because you're not going to be fucking perfect, man, the day you begin. You're going to steadily refine your craft. And even when you get to a stage where you consider yourself world-class at what you do, there's always more to improve. Okay? So don't see failure as, oh, no, my video got 10 views. That means, you know what, fuck it. Nah, man. 10 views, 10 people watched it. Be grateful. Learn from it. Maybe you need to use the relevant hashtags. Maybe you, And then in the next video, apply it and keep improving. Okay? So hopefully these tips have helped you, fellas. If they have, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.